Hello everyone and welcome to our brand new series on the channel and at uh, Stray Kids Friday. Um, I checked out Stray Kids as part of my latest K-pop Discovery Reel episode and I really like what I've heard, what I heard and I was interested to check out more of the discography. So if it's your first time on the channel, the way I do things is that I want to go through the entire discography before I check out any visual, any stages, anything. Um, I want to listen to the music first because music was the reason why I started this thing in, in the first place. I was just looking for new songs to add to my playlist and Things have just snowballed into what I'm doing now, but my main thing is the music, and for that reason, um, every single week, starting from this week, on Friday, I'll be checking out a new Stray Kids project. For this week, I will be talking about I Am Not, but before I do that, I want to play my favorite song from the their debut album and that is spread my wings spread my wings from Stray Kids mixtape album. Um, this week I checked out I Am Not and I have mixed feelings with this album just because the first half of the album 
um, is so high energy that it can be a bit overwhelming. But once you get to the second half of the album, I was totally digging it and I was loving it so much. So now there is this first part which is a bit um it's a lot to take in but i completely love the second part of the album i love that second part so much starting from rock like and then going to grow up third eye i really love those songs and that's like how i feel about this album so that first half, I need to be in a certain ed space, I think, to really enjoy it. But then the rest of the album is songs that I really like. So I have a top two in this album, and I've mentioned them <laughs> right while talking about the song that I really like, but it was not in their specific order and my second favorite on this album is grow up No, no, no. I just told me that I could got I could good My second favorite to grow up. Uh, what I love about the song is um, the vibe overall. 
I really like it. I love the rapping. It doesn't feel like too much. I love the vocals. The vocals on the, on the song, especially if, uh, like on that bridge. It's so beautiful. The thing with Stray Kids is like from the first time I've listened to them, they always felt like um like young adults with let's say young <laughs> young artist singing drone music. Like even the songs that are hard eating they feel cute to me i don't even know why that is but it's like even the song that are meant to be a bit more in your face it just feels like it's my little brother playing tough that's how i felt listening to their first um album and listening to this one especially the first one of this one i also had that vibe but now with this song i feel like they started to ease into the sound it feels more like um their age i don't know how to explain it properly but that's how i felt listening to the album this felt more them than the the previous songs Yes, I know they can do hard eating song, but I think this is the perfect balance of everything. Of course, um, they can always do whatever it is that they like, but right now this is the side of Stray Kids that I like because it feels like it's them. My favorite on the album is Rock. Yeah, yeah, you know me. Nah, 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 that's not me, man. If you wanna find me, give me a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> And 
that was my favorite song on the album rock um this song is a perfect example of what i like <laughs> with stray kid it's just this hard eating stuff with a little bit of playfulness mixed into it that just makes for a nice experience and I am a hundred percent sure that I am Changbin biased. Like uh, from the get go, I don't even know how you can miss him in the songs. So I was so curious about who he was that I went and check out a song that I really like from the previous album. I went to like see a color coded color coded lyric video to see who was sing singing or rather rapping at that particular moment and I found out that that was his name. It was called Changbin and then yeah I just fell into a rabbit hole that took me like maybe four hours of just looking at content about him. I'm pretty sure I got spoiled a little bit um with a couple of songs just because of that but to be honest i really don't care because i really like him like that's for all the groups that i checked out i've always started like on an even playing field where i had a couple of options in terms of the member that i really like the most the other group where it's clear cut uh, that I have my bias and then the rest of the group is victim because I love answer so much and now here I love Changbin so much so much and <laughs> I don't know I think maybe <laughs> I do have a type of um artist that I really like but then my favorites or my biases in other groups I think it's quite diverse there. But those two groups in particular, it's really clear cut from the beginning. There's this one person that just grabs my attention and that is Changbin. I can tell when he's rapping, like he, his identity is just so loud that you don't need to see his face. Just by his voice, it just grabs your attention. And Rock for me is a song. Um, I really love that song. I just love when Stray Kid does stuff like this because I think their stuff that is way more hard feels cute, but like unintentionally, you can tell that they are a bit young for the music that I make. They are making. I'm talking about their songs that are like um, District Nine, for example, isn't um is a representation of what i'm saying the song feels way too hard for them uh, and like they feel too young to be singing this type of song but i don't know how to put it in a clear way it's just it's a hard song it's a great song yes but it just feels like um, I've been saying this like my little brother playing tough that's how District 9 feels but then this song on the contrary is just the perfect amount of hard hitting with a little bit of playfulness and I think that whenever they let their playfulness come through or shine in songs it just elevates the song that much because they're having so much fun that then you, the listener, is having fun as well. And you just want to keep listening to those songs because you enjoy that moment. And I love this type, those type of Stray Kids songs. And I wish that the upcoming album has more of Stray Kids just, Stray Kids just having fun. Because when they have fun on a track, it just takes the quality to another level. And yeah, that's it for me today. Um, I see you next week for the next tricky albums that we're going to be checking out. And if you are a stay, let me know what is your favorite album from Stray Kids, your favorite song, and also what was your personal ranking in the song. I'm also curious where who is your bias in the group. And then 
if you are chain bin bias, let me know like um, if he has like, I know he has solo content, but like still let me know like solo content by him. I will gladly check it out. That's it for me today. And I see you next week.